there are people in your life that uh, stand out and are just really commendable for their example, uh, both as a, as a guide and a leader, and especially uh, as a Christian. And this morning, we're going to recognize an individual who's been an example to every one of us. And we're talking about our, el our brother, Elder Ruba, this morning. Uh, so as we start, I'm going to have Lillian Barrett come up and read a, a poem that she's written. <laughs> Elder Walter Ruba. I really can't sing and I can't play the tuba, but for certain I can talk about dear Elder Ruba. A Czech marries a German and crosses the sea, and blessed was America to be his destiny. Speaking no English, he managed quite well so that after all this time, you hardly can tell. As you know, English has caused many to falter, but our language was hardly a problem for Walter. If the V wouldn't work, just use the W instead. And that's why victory is victory, however it's said. <laughs> a coal porter and teacher describe his vocation, but his travels were not just to our nation. Walter and Ursula, and little ones in tow, would share Jesus in all of the places they'd go. Their impact at our church is easy to see, and the reason our members include you and me. Walter Ruba, we salute you, and want to exclaim what joy you've brought again and again. And just one more thing, I must emphatically state, if you want to be remembered, just don't be late. <laughs> <laughs> Elder Ruba, I'm going to invite you to come up here. We'd like to present you with something. If you want to come sit. Right, right here, if you will, please. Okay. This service, I mean, if we opened up the floor, there's, you've touched the lives of everybody in this room. Uh, your uh, example, your words of encouragement. Uh, you've given me sermons at times that uh, have just been incredible. And uh, the fact that you pray for everyone here, it's evidence of, of a life dedicated to the Lord. We uh, want to present you with a scrapbook wow. that our comments are written by your brothers and sisters, specifically stating what you've done for them in their lives and what an example you've been. I also wanted to invite anybody who hasn't signed the book during potluck, um, if you want to fill it out. Uh, there are still pages in it for those who haven't had an opportunity. And we also have a special plaque for you. And it reads, In honor of Elder Walter Ruba, a life dedicated to the work of Jesus, on this Sabbath day, December 21st, 2013, we honor you for your 23 years of service to the Pittsburgh Seventh-day Adventist Church. You have been a great leader, teacher, and friend to all of us, and have always led by example. For that, we thank you and love you. And it has the symbol of the Seventh-day Adventist Church, and at the bottom is a Bible verse that says, the fruit of the righteous is a tree of life, and he that winneth souls is wise. Proverbs 11.30. So I want to present you with this and just tell you as the plaque says that we love you and we're honored to have you as a part of our church. Thank you very much. I'm really surprised to, for this surprise, I don't know what to say. But uh, I can say that I really enjoyed coming here for 23 years. And I saw the church when I came here, there was nothing here. There was no uh, 
dining room, they are nothing. Everything has been built, and this rebuilding here has really improved this church tremendously. And if we just can fill up those seats now that are still empty, I think that we have accomplished the purpose while we are here. We are all drifters in here. We don't have very few people from Pittsburgh, maybe 10 people from Pittsburgh itself. All of us have drifted in from somewhere else, and we like it here. And all we need to do is to evangelize now Pittsburgh to fill up those booths here. Isn't that right? Thank you very much. I appreciate it. And I, I, I don't know what to say. <laughs> Thank you. Absolutely. All right. And we have one more person that's going to come up. My mom is going to come up um, if you want to uh, sit. If you want to sit right here. Okay. And she's going to come up and share something special. <laughs> yes. This is from you. Okay. Th this is a gift not to Elder Ruba. This is a gift to you from Elder Ruba. He gave this to me to give to you quite a long time ago. And I knew that the opportunity would arise when the day would be right. And that day is today. This is a poem dedicated to his wishes for your life, for the lives of all of us, for this church. And it goes like this. I have in my hand these two boxes, which God gave me to hold. He said, put all your sorrows in the black box and all of your joys in the gold. So I heeded his words. And in these boxes, both my joys and my sorrows I stored. But though the gold box became heavier and heavier, the black box was light as before. So in curiosity, I just had to peek. I wanted to find out why. And lo and behold, in the base of this box was a hole. <laughs> was a hole which my sorrows had fallen out by. Well, I showed God the hole in the box and I mused, where, where all my sorrows could be? And he smiled his sweet smile, as he always did, and he said, my child, your sorrows, why, they're all here with me. I asked God why. Why did you give me these two boxes? Why the gold and the black with the hole? And he said, my child, the gold box is for counting your blessings. And the black box is so you can let go. <laughs> Elder Ruba's wish for you is that in the coming year, all of us will let go of the bad things, count those blessings, and be ready for what God is going to do in all of our lives. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Elder. Thank you.